Welcome back to another episode of Sobriety. I'm your host, Jamie Wolf. Here is second to Mike. Emil Wakim. <laughs> Wakim. Welcome back Mike to Sobriety. And Co-host third Mike. Zelnick. Christian like ah. sir, hello. And resident uh, Guest, fourth Mike. Dispensable. Dispensable. <laughs> 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 Highly dispensable. <laughs> Ready to be written out of the uh, cinematic universe Today of sobriety. The Lucas person who's the home we are in. Lucas Elmick. <laughs> 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 the eminently dis- dis- departing Lucas. The effortlessly dispensable <laughs> Lucas Elmick. <laughs> Lucas, welcome <laughs> onto the pod. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. He did get me a water, which was very kind, but <laughs> highly <laughs> still dispensable. <laughs> anyone can get a water, but can anyone... Leave the pot and have no one else notice. No, just me. Only you. That's what makes me <laughs> more dispensable. Wait, is this what's happening? Is this is it because you're skimping out on some episodes? We have no. an announcement to make. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> be funny. We're keeping the same studio. Lucas will be off screen. Uh, <laughs> Christian's obviously repa- Slow, replacing. Slowly him phasing me out. You yeah. just move further away. From, you're just in the, your bedroom. <laughs> Due to conflicting and busy schedules, some of the new podcast episodes won't have any hosts. <laughs> <laughs> It'll Jamie be Emil, Christian, and the third person. Person. It's a new meta podcast. It's actually just white noise. <laughs> it's just dead I actually, air. Someone told me about this idea for a podcast. It's a host comes on. Have you? Uh, it's it's Dave told me this idea. Okay. That is a guy that we know. But uh, the he, the idea is like a host comes on and hosts the podcast, and then after that episode, the host passes to a oh, new host. hosting to the guest. Yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. The it's guest. A don't break the be- chain podcast. Becomes so like, the host. I'm the first host. Obviously, you're my guest. Right. So next episode, you're the host, and you bring on a guest. And then, and then the episode after that, that your they're... guest is now the host, and they bring on a guest. Is there a premise to the episode? No. No. no it's just anything. <laughs> yeah. It isn't. It's kind of tough. Yeah. To seems follow. Like a terrible. For that. Yeah. It seems like a terrible idea. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was interesting. I thought it sounded interesting. Well, his whole thing was like, then you open up a network of. You know, not just one person. It's like alumni network. of the pod, right? Yeah. But how yeah. many? I mean, you, you run through ten of your friends, and then you go, "All right, I don't think anyone else is g- good at hosting." <laughs> how many people can host a no, whole? No, but podcast it's your friends the picking the next. You host. don't pick th- after the first person. But then, in like in like a month, it's going to be like your friend's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's after four like, guests, it just stops being a there's podcast. There's no one stays yeah, in yeah. common. It's just going to be like my nephew wanted to do it. <laughs> it would a hundred percent become some crack addict yeah. in the Lower East Side. Totally. Spot. Some dude. After like two months. Wait, you're saying it's I could sleep in the studio <laughs> if I do the podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, it's almost like have you ever played that game where you go on Wikipedia and you see how many clicks it takes to get to Hitler? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. that, but for hosting the podcast with a crack at it. It still gets to Hitler, though. It's <laughs> <laughs> about so Hitler hosting. How do you get to Hitler still? <laughs> so um, tell me about your upbringing. <laughs> yeah, it is like, funny. Emil, where fall. are you from? Vos is like <laughs> the deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> so stand up. Like, how do you come up with bits? <laughs> <laughs> it's still stand up related. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Hitler was alive today, he probably would have had a podcast. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he probably would. That's he true. was in art school, so it's like he probably he would have. He would have had a gas digital podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's so sensitive nowadays. <laughs> Aaron <laughs> Berg <laughs> is underrated. <laughs> Wait, Hitler's saying you can't say anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. You literally can't do anything at all. It's like you know, like all otherwise the the woke mob is like totally. <laughs> <laughs> over you. <It's> a <laughs> he means the UN. <laughs> he calls the UN the woke mob. <laughs> oh, this the allied G- forces. Are <laughs> <laughs> the Geneva Convention is like so lame. <laughs> so left wing. <laughs> the, med- the, zib- the liberal media is so against <laughs> Hitler. Every time we do Hitler, we do make him a little gay. Also. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Probably <laughs> historically accurate. Yeah. Osama has a bit about this where he's like in revenge for, <laughs> for killing six million Jews. What we did is we just made him gay. Yeah, we're oh, doing right. like every time. Every I also time. like how everyone we're th- does oh, him the fine. same. We're three minutes into the podcast and we're already on gay Hitler. <laughs> 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 I did not have gay Hitler on my bingo card for today, but I'm glad we've made it there so quickly. We haven't been offensive yet so far, though. Yeah, that's it's, cl- it's that's just good. talking about gay Hitler in a liberal way. There's nothing. It is. Uh, it is very offensive about gay Hitler. If anything, it makes him it's less offensive. It, it makes him more progressive. <laughs> is it actually <laughs> offensive to hate Hitler if he was gay? <laughs> it actually that's not true. It mm. is offensive to make Hitler gay because then you're implying a gay guy did the Holocaust. Yeah, and there's nothing more straight than the Holocaust. They're really <laughs> <laughs> the they're, Holocaust they're really is straight, straight, straight as straight shit. I mean, that's like an action movie, you know? Yeah, that it is really toxic is. masculinity <laughs> at its peak. It's like a Jason Statham flick, the Holocaust was. <laughs> <laughs> a Jason Statham-style Holocaust movie. Yeah. Like, uh, like instead of... Uh, 
Shem, I feel like we're losing. <laughs> Emil's no, like, what's it going to be? I'm letting the two Jewish I was, guys I was take the reins in, on this in the, rev. This, yeah. I was thinking, like, instead of Schindler's List, which is like. <laughs> I'm sitting said, back on this. Have you guys watched Schindler's List? Uh, tag me back yeah, in when we sucked. Bunch. No, I have. I have, I swear. <laughs> I swear to you. Yeah, Every day. all the time. <laughs> Every month I watch. How so many <laughs> watches is too many watches? Like, if someone's like, it have you watched Schindler's List? It's like over Anything above. Yeah. It's possible to have an inappropriate amount of times that you've seen. Oh, yeah. I've seen it six times. If someone's like, it's my favorite movie, you go. Uh, I get God. the intention, but I don't like that. I watch that every year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could say something to backpedal like it's so moving, but even so, over four Why times. Why would you want to... Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It's so it's so wrong what those Nazis did. Can I ask a really dumb question? I watch yeah. it just to hate. In, uh, <laughs> it doesn't carry. Darn more, it! Does it carry more weight in a Jewish household where it's like, do you sit down with your parents? Like, do, do they make sure you've seen it? Uh, my parents did. Is that a stupid question? My parents yeah. didn't make. It seems like it'd be dumb, but I yeah, just no. wanted to throw that out. Uh, did you have to watch Passion of the Christ? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no my no, dad definitely was like, that movie was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't uh, think you're right, though. I think it. it you're, not I just don't think oh, you're, you're, Jewish you're that Jewish. Not yeah, like yeah, the birds and the bees Jewish. talk, and then also like, and, and then no, Schindler's it, it List kind of was. The Holocaust talk was definitely before the birds and the bees talk. It does seem like you'd have. Your parents would have to tell you, like, hey, here's what happened. But I will say, I don't think Schindler's List is like the seminal piece of <laughs> Holocaust media that all Jews feel it necessary to watch. I, I definitely what didn't did see you it think that college. was college. Um, for me, it was like actual videos of the Holocaust. Uh, I got shown that pretty early on. What oh, age so. do you think? Oof. Did I see them like stacking up bodies? Probably, probably by the time of my bar mitzvah. Which is you're a man, thirteen years old. You're a man now, and here's here's what happened. Here's what yeah, here's yeah, what yeah, they yeah. want to do to us. Here's the, what explains a lot. But also the ho- like the Holocaust. You learn about the Holocaust. Um, for me, okay. So this is like more of a. So I was raised very Jewish, conservative Jewish. So yeah. there's like there there's broadly like three tiers. There's uh, <laughs> reformed, okay. conservative, and orthodox. Reform is okay. like normal. You're just culturally Jewish. Yeah, reform's okay. like you don't wear a yarmulke, you don't keep kosher, you don't do any of the shit. You have a bar mitzvah. That's reformed yeah. is more like urban city people living in. Yeah. you know, like not re- New York. Modern. Reformed yeah. is what both of us are. Not now. New York. It's it's basically just Jews outside of New York because very people from. Wait, New what York do you mean? Not very New Jewish. No, no, no. But, but reform. I knew literally no, like all of. Not well, I'm all, reformed now. But a large percentage of the people I knew in. Uh, Philly were Jews, yeah, but no one was conservative Jewish. What's Every single yeah, yeah. person was reformed. What's yeah. really in the but U.S. In, New York, there's also in terms of very Jews. Jewish people, it's like New York, Miami, L.A., and then uh, Chicago. But outside of those places, it's like reform is generally how people <laughs> reforms. Are, right? the you don't see like Hasidic people in Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In Minneapolis, you don't see Jewish people. They're playing it safe. In people. Fargo, North Dakota, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. gonna find a. But but there are reformed synagogue. Jews in New York. Totally. We, I started as a conservative Jew, and then after my bar mitzvah, my dad walked out the day of my bar mitzvah because it was a four-hour synagogue service. And he said, "That's it." And he said, "Never again." Oh like like God. it was the Holocaust. Like that was worse for him than the actual Holocaust. He was like, "We're never going back to this conservative temple." Do you think your parents were fake conservative just to kind of give you morals growing up? My like, m- no, my uh, mom cared a lot about it because her she has like two. I've said this a lot on the pod weirdly, but she had like two siblings that were radicalized by this rabbi when they were younger, and he. Turned all them kind of Jewish, but two of them moved to Israel and became ultra orthodox. And then she, sh- her sister, became like quite conservative, all bordering on modern orthodox for a time. And then she became like fully conservative Jewish. So I was kind of raised that way. And in conservative synagogue, the way that they tell you about the Holocaust is they double it up with Israel. So they go, Israel's the solution. The, hol- the here's here's the horror that happened. Thank God we have Israel. Israel, Israel's the thing that makes sure that there's no more Holocaust. Preventing That's why right. when a Palestinian kid like accidentally kicks a soccer ball into Israel, <laughs> they're like, it's a genocide again. Like, this is how it started last time. <laughs> That's why if a Palestinian kid sneezes near the wall, <laughs> all fucking hell breaks loose. That's right. <laughs> well, that's they literally think that that kid is like perpetuating the Holocaust still to the day. The way right, that right, Hitler right. brought because the wrath of God against the Jews. football over the wall. Yeah. The Jews bring the wrath of God against <laughs> Palestinian <laughs> children who might have accidentally tripped near the wall. <laughs> <laughs> near in in the He's west, taking cover. He, in tri- the west he just bank. tripped. <laughs> he's taking cover. Get him. <laughs> he's trying to holocaust all of us. He's six. He's trying to holocaust he's, us. He's trying to holocaust like a verb. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I learned about the holocaust is as they're teaching you about it, it's all one lesson. It's like right. the story of the Jews is a story of persecution. And so then they go for all the persecution. They start with like slavery in Egypt. The Jews are such victims. 
We are. We the Jews such a victim complex. The more Jewish you get, and the they're more doing fine. We're doing pretty. You guys good. had a good comeback. Kanye insulted us, and now he's. Where is he? It's always Jew. The bigger the Jew, the more they're like Kanye said this, and now hate crimes are going to happen. I guess that's right. a lot of modern. The rhetoric. Kanye stuff yeah. really died down just because he kind of stopped talking. We really just kind of let it go. Yeah, well, but he still lost all his endorsements. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. And I would it, say it, it died down because it's like, what do you got? What else are you going to do? Do you have Yeezy right. stuff? No, I don't wear. I don't. I think I had a. I had p- two pairs, but I don't wear them. You don't I wear had them. to throw yeah. out a, 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 a what is it? Oh, your Pablo, Pablo shirt? shirt? Cause I performed oh, yeah. at QED and I bombed horrifically. And then you realized <laughs> you were wearing a Kanye And shirt? afterwards, they were like, the shirt just really threw me off. I was like, I was Jewish. They were like, I didn't know. I was Jewish. At the time of yeah. the shirt. I was Jewish. <laughs> until, <laughs> I, until I put I the shirt Jewish on. For the right shirt. now, I'm normal guy, but back then, with the shirt on, I was I'm, Jewish. I'm whatever the good religion is. Christian or was that Protestant? <laughs> I'm whatever you want me to be for the joke to work. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. a... Uh, well, when for I this see joke, I'm a feminist. Uh, so when you, you see change like shirts in between <laughs> jokes, <laughs> when you see someone wearing Yeezys right now, yeah, like, do you think anything of it? Or are you like, oh, it's kind of a? I look. I went to Lebanon, yeah, and on the flight there, oh, but that's there Lebanon. Was, is people different. were dripping. There, like there was a crazy. lot they, of they Yeezys. Bought, yeah. they, uh, Yeezys are really popping <laughs> off there, and I was like, yikes! Saudi Arabia now. <laughs> yeah, you could yeah, see yeah. their brand new tags still on. <laughs> oh man, it was. There was a woman in a hijab with Yeezys on. I swear, really? and I was like, wow. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, it was just a, it was just a very interesting modern. Because yeah. I still see a lot of people wearing Yeezys, and I kind of part. It does clock like so. I have a, I have a Yeezy sweatshirt, and uh, I didn't throw it out. It's in the bottom of my closet. I'm just kind of waiting until it it boils over enough. Because I like the sweatshirt. I have a yeah, shirt, like a vintage shirt. Kanye shirt that I was gonna sell. I was like, it's probably like worth like a hundred bucks or something. And now yeah. it's like the value is tanked, you know? Yeah. And that's what this is really about is how it's affected me. It's this tanked way. here, yeah, but sell it in Lebanon. It's affected us. Make <laughs> yeah, a pretty right. penny. Should we do a trip to Lebanon yeah. with all of our <laughs> Yeezy shit? Our easy make stuff. an absolute <laughs> killing. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> they are willing to pay up. <laughs> it's and their economy is cratering, but this is important to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually heard a Kanye song the other day on YouTube. There, He's like putting, I don't know if he's putting stuff out, but it was like a leaked song. A new one. Oh. A new song. He's like, there's some leaks. It was it was really Dude, good. Dude, I, I would keep but, listening to Kanye 100. percent But I the like funny thing is though is that I think that's where he has to put music out now. He has to put it out on YouTube. Like he's like fucking like ISIS. <laughs> like a SoundCloud. Yeah, rapper like again. it's like a ISIS. beheading video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like Kanye songs and then like two girls, one cup on the same <laughs> website. And you're like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's on like WikiLeaks now. Or yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. Where do they even put explicit shit? He's on the dark web. That's his <laughs> yeah. new. His it's new on like ScareMe.net. Right? Do you, you remember those ones? You just click through and it'd oh, be like yeah. gross things. It's chat oh, roulette. Yeah. That's yeah. how he has yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> he's just on chat roulette. It's guys waiting. jerking off, and the next guy's Kanye being like, "Finally, I have a platform again." <laughs> oh, next. <laughs> what are you guys jerking off? <laughs> jerking off. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I think. I mean, he. Do, what do you guys think? You think he's done out of the cultural consciousness forever? You think I think he comes back. I at think some he's point. done. Really? The way he fell out was pretty grand. Like ten years from now, you don't think he comes back? It's he's tough to come mental back health. from saying that Hitler was like a. Because <laughs> also he went so. Dude, Justin he, Bieber left his <laughs> monkey in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? I, I do remember that. It's all Logan back. Paul did the suicide forest. Oh yeah, thing. that was pretty bad. No. He would he would have to do, and he might do this when he when he comes back from this manic episode. But he would have to do some kind of like conciliatory gesture. He'd have to convert to Judaism. He'd have to go. <laughs> he'd have to go to the the wall. What's it called? The w- the, whaling the whaling wall. wall. Yeah, the and coattail. Like, and like have a the coattail, and then he'd have to put out a statement like, "I learned so much." Dude, I think he, he has to really was actually with a lot bad. of rabbis. Yeah, he did. The, he would have to do the Myers uh, Myers Leonard. Is it no? Who's or the, the Trump? The Trump who's thing. The, who's the basketball player? The NBA guy that that said like a slur when he was like gaming. Oh, I don't know. Kyrie Irving? No, <laughs> Miles Leonard. Is that a guy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Kawhi Leonard. No, no, Kawhi. no. Kawhi. Oh, Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> well, who was it? Didn't Kobe say Kobe had to apologize at one point? No, it was a white guy. For a Jew thing? Christian, we no. want you to chime in, but to disgrace the name of the late Kobe Bryant on this podcast is so messed up. Wait, wait. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, how dare you? Don't chime in with a Kobe thing. But second, <laughs> second of all, wait, what do you, what no, do you mean? What's the first time I've chimed in? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm on, I'm out. And the camera doesn't get, people, people watching don't even dumb. know he's here yeah. until he and, said and the and Kobe. And you brought no, Kobe Bryant into so it. They, they don't know. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Wait, so what did Kobe say? Was it about the Jews? No, he, he, he said the, the, the F... Uh, not not fuck. But I, but do he, remember, but he, I do remember. I do remember that. the gay slur. I totally and then, remember and that. And then he had to apologize. Yes. And, and yeah, yes. that's what, uh, 
Did uh, he that's have, all. Like, that's my, my. That's all my time. Wait, oh. were he a picture with like Andy Cohen or something? I don't know. I don't you know what happened? What he had actually, to do. I think is he, he had to make a statement. He or said yeah. That, yeah. he said the F slur, right? Yeah. And then like um, later, he died in a helicopter crash. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe maybe that's not like the most notable thing that's Christian, happened. Christian, see what you did to us. Christian, why would that was you? All do me, that? Christian, that was all me. Christian, times you're such a toxic presence. Earlier Christian. with the Israel Palestine thing, he put his daughter there. <laughs> he's uncomfy. He supports Israel. Wait, so Christian, how do you feel about the Israel Palestine conflict? <laughs> oh. I want your take. Dude. Yeah, what's your take? I actually want your take. I'm all the hot button issues. I know. I know. It's all me. It's so you, dude. You're a hot takes guy. I I think I'm I'm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what this podcast what? is. It's just cornering yeah, your friends. Just, yeah. No, I'm just curious. I don't. I've never asked that before. And because you're from New Rochelle, you probably knew Jews growing up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, you weren't that. And Palestine. Like I didn't. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have the debate. Yes. <laughs> with, with <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I I don't know. I. It is funny. I don't think it's my say. It. It's not. It's not my. Uh, I think outside of my New place. York, no right. Right. You what? So it's not my place to say. Oh, All right, stop it with that. That's a good anyway. take. Okay. Outside of New <laughs> York, <laughs> no one knows what e- what's even going on at all. Yeah. People don't even know. I don't even. I don't think that many people even know no, that no. Israel is, dude, related to Judaism. I don't think they he- they hear <laughs> words. They go, "What's Israel? <laughs> no, it's Palestine." They don't know that. A there lot are of people are really well versed on this issue, and I watch a documentary about why. Because who's the most pro-Israel group in the U.S.? Conservative. Republicans. Conservatives. Do you know why? Because they hate Muslims that much. No, it's because oh. <laughs> in the Bible it states... No, but that doesn't hurt. That it Jesus does, that's why. It, <laughs> it states in the Bible that Jesus will come back when the Jews control the land of Israel. The oh. Holy Land. So they're very, very pro-Israel. Because if the Jews take over that entire swath of the right. world, they think Jesus, that's when Jesus can come back. Uh, that's uh, that's it's like evangelicals right? believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't huh. believe there's still people that are by the book. Yeah, p- like, like religion. A lot yeah, of people. Or they like they like Jews because of how many degrees. We talked about this yesterday that three rights make a left. Like they're so right wing, they came full circle and started liking Jews again. Right, yes. they're yeah, so yeah, racist yeah. that, but they just hate Muslims that much and <laughs> yeah. Arabs that they're like, all right, we'll team with Jews. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we could like, collab with the we'll Jews. It's guys with cowboy hats that are like normally they'd be like, no fucking Jews in my town. <laughs> they only <laughs> the team up with Ashkenazi like, Jews. It's yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, they're from the Middle East. Sephardic Jews are brown. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Sephardic <laughs> Jews are Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> why do they look like Muslims if they're Jews? Those are new Muslims. And why to can me. they eat rice on Pesach? <laughs> <laughs> they also I know, know like the shit. specific rules. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, but okay, Purim so isn't as big for them. I want to get back to where we, be. where we were Knowing before Purim. Christian uh, said terrible things about Kobe Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> May All you right. rest in peace, sorry. <laughs> uh, Christian. To, can to you issue an apology to the listener? I have to issue like Kobe. I have to issue an apology. I should say also, I'm pro. Palestine. Yeah, yeah. I thought that that was clear. <laughs> it took some time. I thought to that himself. was clear. But he then googled I what's about the right it. position yeah. to be in New York. <laughs> we, were, we were joking. York. We were joking around in that time. Christian's head during the last thirty seconds. Should wait. What's the liberal one again? Yeah. Oh, Palestine. No, no. Wait. No, I'll I, just I, say I the said it. My words were. It's not my place to say, which yeah. is a little weird. <laughs> I'm pro Palestine. <laughs> I should say that. It's just funny to say I that because that that implies that it's our place to say. What's to happen? Like yeah. to, to yeah. have a take? Yeah, yeah right. We're Jews right. are so biased. Also, d- one, Jews are biased. Two, we're not like Middle Eastern. We're just Americans fundamentally. I mean, we don't know anything about this. I issue. don't know fucking shit no, about what's no. going on, but I'm super yeah. pro Palestine. And every every piece of information <laughs> I have on Israel Palestine <laughs> is very much wrong because it's coming from like Jewy Jews. So it's like I don't have any actual information. I just have facts. I don't I go, think any Jews are more Jewy than any other Jews. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a phrase I would use to describe Jews. I mean, what's Jews? your thought on how on many how Jewy Jews are? Yeah, you know what, Christian? I'll just throw this back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, hot potatoing this yeah. back to you. On the Pass scale the of rock. zero to Jewy, <laughs> how Jewish do Jews? Dishing it out to Christian from the three-point line. Piggybacking here. off of Lucas, I'm just gonna throw this one over to Christian. <laughs> <laughs> the alley oop. <laughs> Christian Jew. slam dunk. Slam all all, all, all Jews Kobe. are Jews. All right, R.I.P. Kobe. <laughs> R.I.P. Kobe might have to be the title of this episode. Oh, man. People are going to listen to it. R.I.P. Kobe and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. (laughs) (laughs) That's the long title. (laughs) So to get back to where where this all started, Ryan and Israel Palestine. Does Kanye come back? Does he have to convert to Judaism to come back? Yes. 
Yes. Does he need yes. pass? As a Jew, I will not accept any apology until he is, is walking Jewish. around Hasidic Jewish Williamsburg, pushing a stroller with a Hasidic <laughs> child in it, next to his wife who's following three steps last behind album, him, as is the law. Last yeah. album was Jesus is King. Next album is Jesus isn't King. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is a false prophet. We're still waiting. <laughs> Look what we did to Jesus. <laughs> Jesus isn't king, but God's real, and the the Messiah is is yet to come. <laughs> is yet to come. <laughs> I don't. I honestly, I don't think he comes back ever. It's I think we. I think it's also because he was Kanye past or his Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I was kind of Who's not song. coming back? <laughs> Jesus comes back when Kanye is fully deplatformed. Okay. That's the new thing in the in the Bible. <laughs> when the Jews have fully ostracized Kanye, There's that is addendum. when Jesus will come the back. The Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye 312. There's a Jerry Falwell updated Bible that says that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who's Jerry Falwell? Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. He's just like a modern either. conservative uh, guy. Yeah, yeah. He ran I Liberty University. Along. I should have disagreed. Dude, it was so funny. He ran Liberty University. University, like the biggest religious college at, or university in the U.S., and then he got busted. This is what he got busted for. It's so, so, it's so conservative to cancel someone for this. Uh, is he just had pictures with women on his Instagram where he there was also alcohol in the photo? That was it. It wasn't like doing anything bad. He got canceled wow. by the right for that. For that, good. He, he had I, to resign his position from Liberty University. As a Catholic, I think that's so cute. That isn't that's <laughs> what you guys cancel people for? I <laughs> wish adorable. conservatives writ large would cancel like as trivially as liberals do. They do more often. They totally do. Yeah, it was but so there's crazy. There's fireball. Stop! <laughs> Stop <laughs> drinking fireball. It was fireball. <laughs> and it was two like underage girls he took a picture with. But it wasn't like they had a sexual relationship. It was just a p literally an Instagram photo. That's how you get like promoted in any other church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this guy's good. Conservatives canceling someone for having a septum. Get this piercing. guy to the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> Liberals now canceling people for not having a septum. She's piercing. got pink hair. She's out. <laughs> Wait. So when did you become not as you can't? You became more secular. I became more secular. Ba basically, so my, I was my well, mom. Like, were you ever religious though? My mom forced it so hard on me that yeah. I resented it from day one. Okay. But I so but I had to do things. Like for example, I had two bar mitzvahs. One was in Israel. Wow. And I. That's the most Jewish thing I've. Ever and I had to go to uh, Hebrew school every week for like three hours. Um, and do you speak I, Hebrew? I, I used to be able to read it, and ah, I could never shame. speak it. They taught me to read it without understanding what it was. Yash falom That sounds that's not, good. That's, that's not, not Hebrew. Hebrew. I was oh. just making noises throatily. He sounds like a Borat <laughs> like <laughs> language. <laughs> it kind of sounded Irish. Yash falom shoshash. Like like Gaelic. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Gaelic. Yash darishdash. <laughs> Um, but then by the time so you of my half asked Hebrew school for three years, so you I have, yeah, I hated it. It was like your piano lessons. Yeah. You know, like. And, and the <laughs> well, no one likes Hebrew school. All my friends That's were Jewish, point. but my friends were all reformed Jews. So they all got to hang out with each other because they all went to the same Hebrew school. And I went to the more Jewy one with like kids that were into it, which was, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God, right. really? You went with kids that were into it? I thought it was cool. Uh, some of them weren't as into it, but it was just like my class of Jews were, were lame. And then the reformed ones <laughs> were cool. Of Jews were Jews. Lame. <laughs> Yeah. The class of Jews I came up with, is like, yeah. they yeah. were just like not I, as cool as I, Patrice. I and ended like up old becoming school friends ones with the lower cool. class, not lower by age, but lower by religious. <laughs> yeah, 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 they were cool. The more Patrice and Burr class. were in the cool class, but my class was just kind of like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I was in a different demo. But yeah. as soon as I ha was bar mitzvah, that's when you get to make more decisions about your religion. And I think all of us were like, that was too much. So they really actually, after your bar mitzvah, they do give you some autonomy over your life more? Like, do they really go I think like that was more my parents did choosing okay. that. But Attend temple and keep the Sabbath? My, so we had to do Shabbat growing up. Dinner. Yeah. Shabbat dinner. And then we didn't do like no electricity on Saturdays, but we did do like a pared down version, like limited cartoons and Oh, limited. like limited card. <laughs> it's like the loopholes where you like you get in an elevator, but you have someone else push the button. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. We did yeah. like extra loopholes. Tricking God. We like, oh, classic. No bacon. <laughs> I know God doesn't. Yeah, see using it. the using the butthole and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> a, the anal sex. So, Damn uh, it! I wish I could enforce my rules. <laughs> Limited cartoons was my anal that sex. That was your anal sex. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that was your soaking, as Mormons do. <laughs> <laughs> soaking. Everyone has a soaking. That yeah. was mine. You and your mom soaked. Mine was Tom and Jerry. When you and your mom wait in the elevator for a stranger to come push My mom the and I soaked to the Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> No, I I always cheated like the rules, but like for example, no bacon in the house. But I started getting 
big because I went to a secular school. I had secular friends, so I just and my parents didn't ca- certainly my dad didn't care at all really. Yeah, my mom cared, but in kind of a vague like you shouldn't, but then out of sight, out of mind kind this of. This is way. interesting because I think maybe it's because you guys don't have hell or there's not like the like constant doom yeah right? hell's a washing machine in judaism so as many bad things as you do that's how many cycles you're in the washing machine and then ultimately you get to heaven like hitler is still in the sense. washing machine but he's eventually hypothetically he's getting out next year it's kind of a big <laughs> 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 you know he's only 79 years yeah it was a technicality. They, they, <laughs> the, the prosecutor did Due something out of order. Due to the <laughs> Hitler and Harvey Weinstein get out on the same day. <laughs> the angel in heaven is brought. Well, I don't know the why prosecutor was actually brought in himself yeah. for corruption charges. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. had to. Mussolini's cut already a deal. pure. He's in uh, heaven. <laughs> One now. of the jurors Mussolini's actually had a bias. <laughs> <laughs> they found it. They had to read it. They just scrapped the whole trial. And he's cool about it. When you get to heaven, you see Mussolini. Dude, no, no. I trust me. I went to the washing machine. Like, I, it was bad. But now I'm like totally chill. Like, I'm not a fascist at all. <laughs> like I'm just not that guy anymore. Hitler yeah. when he gets out of the washing machine, my bad guys. Wow, <laughs> that I get it now. No okay. one told that me that was not cool, but <laughs> I did. Yeah. First of all, give me a second. I'm kind of nauseous from all those spin <laughs> cycles. It's Wait, like a lot. <laughs> Seventy nine years is so much. Do they call it a washing machine? <laughs> no, that's how my like super orthodox uncle described it to me in secular terms. Okay. Well, so interesting because I grew up Catholic and I had a lot of. I think I was. I almost enforced the rules on myself more than my parents did because oh. I had the guilt of like. God is watching. Oh, uh, right. So you they tell you, like... It, we could, would you jerk off as a kid and feel fine afterwards? Wait, Yahweh's supposed to watch you in Catholicism? Yeah. Why he watches Yahweh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the great Lord. <laughs> Whoa. He's uh, everywhere, dog. Unseen but always heard. Was he's in here, too. He's the fourth... Mo- he's actually... He's the guy <laughs> that was talking earlier. <laughs> yeah, we got... <laughs> That's God he making a Kobe, Kobe joke. Kobe <laughs> Hello. God not knowing <laughs> if a joke will land or not. I have returned. Know, something about Kobe? I don't Kobe know. Kobe shouldn't have said that slur. <laughs> God working out of his notebook. Is this anything? I don't know. <laughs> Stand up. Guys. I know the end. I know how the joke will get, but I still want to live in the present. Time is actually a spectrum for me, but I'm going to be right now. I'm going to let it bomb for now. <laughs> But wait, did you, so did you have guilt like that, or you no, were automatically no, no. like, "Fuck this"? When I jerked off for the first time, I had no guilt. Wow, that's bliss. Yeah. Did you have you, guilt you when you guilt? jerked off? I mean, yeah, but I still did. I didn't let that stop me. But was that kind of hot? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be kind of hot. Ca- it must be. I, that's why I think like some oh, Jews God, are Oh God, we're so bad, Yahweh. Actually, now it does feel like <laughs> it, I think there's something missing from my life, which is the shame that I am shedding now as a yeah. New Yorker, like you know. You, there's no guilt in y- your own pleasure, yeah. or whatever the fuck. I sound Ethical like a woman. Monogamy is, is. I sound like a woman that was like that grew up in like a you know whatever a Mormon church and like masturbated for the first time like last <laughs> week. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm now like yeah. You just jerk off and you're like all right. You well, that's what I wonder if I'm like less sexual because I never felt that shame. But some Jews I feel are more sexual because they're more o- like. It's it cuts either way. It's like are Catholics sexually repressed and therefore bigger sickos? What well, about you? What? How was your jerk off guilt phase? No, I didn't. We were not. We were like, I went to temple like four times growing up, and I oh, wasn't okay. even mitzvahed. Okay. We were only culturally Jewish. We weren't even reformed Jewish. We were like the fourth level. Right. We were reformed, which which is we were Jewish, and we actually celebrated Passover every year and Hanukkah every year randomly, which aren't even that big. Passover no. is big, but like the biggest is Hanukkah is not a big Jewish. You guys holiday. were just doing it for fun. We were just doing it for fun. Yeah, for the food, for the for yeah. the hang. Yom Kippur, for the family. Yom Kippur for the hang. is the big one. You know, we Willis? did we did that Yom a couple Kippur, times. Yeah. We went to temple like a couple years for yeah. Yom Kippur. Like I used to have to go and like we, for real, for real for Yom Kippur. Yeah, and fast. That's the Day of Atonement, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. brutal. We fasted too. And the holy ten days are the ten days in between Rosh Hashanah, which is like the Jewish New Year and Yom Kippur, which is like, so you're like atoning for your sins of the past year. And then I guess you get forgiven on. We were like you. I, we were, I was Catholic, like, like more like you. Yeah. My parents, I think, faked But you it a still bit. felt the shame. Yeah. Was it like I, one thing? I like think it was an OCD. I think I was just always very anxious. And then when you're a kid and you're an anxious kid and then God is inserted in your life. Oh, God, God. is the inner the, vessel. Yeah. You get older and you go, oh, it's like. It wasn't this. It was me. <laughs> yeah, I'm God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> but in the own, worst possible I, yeah, way. I'm the worst versions of God to myself. <laughs> <laughs> always judging, whatever. You holding I a, to be a, a dog's carcass. I'm God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kid that rings squirrels' yeah, necks in the says. backyard yeah. says. <laughs> <laughs> I am a God. Who became oh Jeffrey God. Dahmer? <laughs> um, There's no one but me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I was really religious out of just fear because they were like, you yeah. know, I thought hell was a real place. And I was like, I'm going to go there because I'm jerk, because I'm whatever. It yeah. could be, or we don't Swearing, know. Swearing, making fun. We were also asshole kids. We would make fun of 
I remember one time in Catholic school, we went, we, there was like a, there was like a picture above the water fountain of like the new priests that were coming in. And they just Weird. all, I mean, they put their, their pictures the priests and their names. asked to put the pictures there. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, what are you, <laughs> you're putting this in front of middle schoolers. We're going to destroy them yeah, yeah, and yeah. just find dumb jokes. For you guys though, it's, it's, it's like Tinder for an eight year old. <laughs> 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 you can swipe on the priest. I like that one. If I'm going to get diddled, <laughs> if I, I might need as to well. get molested to him. Yeah. yeah. We saw the work schedule when to come in. All right, I'll come in Wednesday. I don't like the guy on Fridays. <laughs> the work schedule. But there was some guy's last name was like vag- Vaginas or something. Oh. And we just lost it oh. and then the t- he teacher came up to us and was like literally said something verbatim along the lines of like you're going to hell you're going to go to hell for that <laughs> <laughs> i remember going oh, to the bathroom during math hell. class and praying dude it would be psychotic. really funny yeah, that's if, crazy. if you really did go to hell for that it would be funny if hell like, was like exactly say, say the devil vaginas. Emil, get in here yeah. thanks for calling him vaginas yeah 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 that was really funny vaginas that was, that was hilarious was that funny brother? to you well guess what now you burn an eternity yeah all right, turn around. That I'm going to rape you. I'm the devil. <laughs> Vaginas kills in hell, by the way. Yeah, puns <laughs> about priests are really good down here. I think if hell really was as advertised, no matter what you did, up even up to like murder, it would just be so gratuitous. Like with the yeah. burning and the fire and the brimstone and the and the shoveling coal like well, for eternity. Yeah. There would it would get to a point of being gratuitous. I mean, would you want to hang out in heaven though with people that go to like if that, that were the dynamic. Harps and old people that never swore. Yeah. It is weird because... Heaven would be lame. If yeah, the, give me right. purgatory. Give me a little in the middle, baby. Yeah. I don't know okay. if you wouldn't want to hang... Earth. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know if you wouldn't want to hang out with them in heaven, though, because they're doing... They're living that way in their life because they're so afraid of God and going so to hell. So that they can get to heaven. So that they can get to heaven. But what if in heaven, those guys are like the rappers Turning up. of the afterlife? Yeah. What, they're, if, they're, they're, what if you get to heaven and there's yeah, like... They're fucking and like... They're doing all the shit they couldn't do. That's what they think, right? I mean, yeah. when you're like a religious They're person, imbibing. you think like I'm going to be pure in this life because when I get to heaven, that's I'm gonna, my I'm going to be the debauchery. shit out of Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, my yeah. rumspringa is is heaven. What if you get to heaven and it's all just like the suicide bombers and you go, oh, what they were right? Oh my yeah. god, why am I here? Yeah, god. what did I do to get? <laughs> why? How did I? What the hell? Yeah, did I, I accidentally suicide it? bomb my way here? <laughs> Saint Peter at the gate. Um. Oh, it's because of the vag- vagin- vagina thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually, why you got you, you can't quite pronounce it. Vagina. Vagina. Is it vaginas whatever? It's because of that guy. Let's have the same way. He's here. in hell. He molested a lot of kids. That's <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It was cool that you made fun of him. That really took him down. A peg. <laughs> took him down. He. That took him down a peg and when i say down a peg i mean he pegged one less kid as a result <laughs> <laughs> it was you he was kind of afraid of you <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he really never did him. Yeah. <laughs> you actually molested him <laughs> <laughs> mentally emotionally i mean you didn't quite literally but <laughs> but anyway that's why you're up here so the um, religion yeah. episode this say is the religion episode yeah yeah who knew yeah, we but tackled it yeah we, we got it. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think there's a heaven and a hell? Oh yeah, let's do this. this Actually, or joke wise? Uh, no. Let's talk. What? Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we be joking? <laughs> you can. Make Should I it say what I believe, or the opposite of what? Or I for believe. a bit? Should well, I honestly, rip? that is a good question when it comes to our podcast. Yeah, <laughs> like the last third. I, thir- I just said, exactly. what if heaven is all suicide bombers? I <laughs> hope people think I'm joking. <laughs> well, that's clearly a joke, but I <laughs> well, mean, well, it's a like question. It's a comedic question, right. but it, it's a you know, there's some truth to the question. Do you think that there is even one suicide bomber in heaven? No, because I think well, I think what's f- so no. funny, what I think what's funny about people that do suicide bombings is that they think it's going to be the best thing for God. But it's so funny that it's like God, if you do a suicide bombing, that's how obsessed you are with meeting God. There's no way God wants to like hang out with you forever. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. You that's get like to, the ultimate God would definitely fan see, move. Yeah, God would see him and be like, oh fuck, this guy's here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, God. man. This, this guy oh. wouldn't stop hey, DMing me up? from, yeah, 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 from yeah, the yeah. before God, times. God, God, I suicide bombed for yeah. you. Yeah. I know. Hey. Hi, oh, man. We should get coffee some. <laughs> I'm actually just heading. I, I have work. Yeah. What? You've worked. I'm busy, actually. I'm that's, busy, Ben. We yeah. Can't really that's cool, man. I do appreciate it. God thanks thanks day, for being such a fan. God gets a day job to avoid hanging out with people. <laughs> <laughs> text me. Text me. I don't have your number. Text me. <laughs> Peter will give it to you. <laughs> Peter will give it to you. <laughs> Um, what, what's your, what are your beliefs on uh, higher power? You go spirituality R- right now. Days? I'm in a weird limbo. I haven't, yeah. you know, I lost it pretty hard and I got pretty pessimistic yeah. over the last couple of years, you know, just adult being an, an adult. Yeah. And I get being that. Like early twenties. And then now I, I'm thinking I'm going to find something. I it's definitely not gonna, uh, no organized religion, but some sort of spirituality. Yeah. It feels know. insane to go. All of this is pointless and nothing. I agree. There's no funny. I had that for a little bit. It doesn't feel right. It feels insane. It feels to pretty say crazy. That. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know why I thought I wanted to think that for a while. Not wanted to think. I almost was just like, it is. I yeah. had a little negative chip on my shoulder. Yeah, it's Nietzsche. It's early 20s angst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing nothing fucking matters. Wait, it's all these oh, Nietzsche. I thought you were yeah. talking like early 1920s angst. Like there was an angsty emo period in the 1920s. You mean like... When you remember people, when, when all the Germans were like just like wearing black? And <laughs> 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 I like how people during the Dust Bowl to you were angsty, not <laughs> <Yeah>. depressed. <laughs> They're just being in their own head. Oh my gosh, there's so much dust. <laughs> there's yeah. like so no much. work. I like haven't eaten in like months. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma sucks. Where are Oklahoma. you? <laughs> to cabbage. <laughs> it's about potatoes. <laughs> They're singing to the rain. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I want corn. I want corn. <laughs> Where is this corn? <laughs> yeah, the band Corn was actually just about corn. <laughs> <laughs> the original mascara was dust. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. What I mean, it guys? feels insane when you think about like the broader universe, like how you know when people are like, "There's the number of like, like there's the number of stars as there are First grains of, all, of sand." No, there aren't. Yeah, what the star thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, whatever. You Every proved it scientifically, but it doesn't matter to us. Yeah, or when like, they go, up. that's when, not true. When yeah. they go, the universe There's trillions is expanding. Of stars. Okay, show me all of them. Yeah. Then yeah, no, yeah. there aren't, right? The right. universe Why does that matter? Expanding? Anytime you know I that see one? a Hubble the telescope. The universe is expanding. Okay. Expanding Am into I what? expanding? Does it affect me? Well, then who cares? I do think that's a good. I think you should have some yeah. part of that to loop you in the other way. Instead of being like, it's all, we're such part of. I think you should see like Hubble telescope images and be like, nah, that's fucking, that doesn't even, that's not even real. It's probably not real. It does <laughs> seem so. <laughs> There's got to be a graphic designer somewhere working his dick off. Yeah. On the Lower East Side. Yeah, designing on the, the Hubble t- telescope images. So I was images. thinking for like the Andromeda Galaxy, we go like with like a pink background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like NASA, what's around. up? What's up? It's Lex. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so I, I, I... I'm an androgynous graphic designer. <laughs> I just <laughs> dropped the new images from the brand new telescope. Tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gender reveal for the universe every time they draw a new universe. <laughs> <Gender> <laughs> new picture up. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's totally a bug out, like the how far and deep and expansive. Isn't it, it kind of lame? We're not. We don't know either. It kind of sucks. Like like, they're like, you'll never know. We're not and you'll the smartest g- ones out here, though. We're not even close. Like there are people that know so much more. People, than you we mean do. human beings? No, 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 no creatures like, yeah, out yeah, there okay, that know so much more than we do. I and, agree. And also probably know how much more they don't know. Yeah. You know, like the more you learn, the more you learn that you don't know. Yeah. You know, the better you get at comedy, the the more you realize you're not good, yeah, kind of I mean. thing. That's that's what I think there are people for. But we're not even close. We're so like obsessed with comedy <laughs> the universe is a lot like, like comedy, comedy. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get off the top. you know how to compare this to like a like a, a profound analogy like stand-up so comedy. the milky way <laughs> galaxy is like the new york comedy scene right you have the big black hole in the center that's that's the cellar and then where we are on earth that's like the indie scene yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. except and space in our heads where we are talking about it like it matters less the galaxy like is we're expanding like, yeah, that's space is that's bushwick expand, whatever <laughs> <laughs> the galaxy Bushwick. is expanding into Bushwick and even Ocean Hill and sometimes <laughs> East New York, <laughs> as well as New Rutherford, New Jersey. <laughs> Dojo comedy in New Rutherford. <laughs> <laughs> the Philly comedy scene, that's Tau Ceti. That's the closest star. <laughs> Pluto is your friend. That, get that quit. <laughs> He's not doing anything. Pluto right. <laughs> He's way out there. He's not even like a... I don't anymore. know if he's a comic anymore. I don't know if he gets Pluto. up like planet wise. I, mean, <laughs> I think he's just a like, big comet. Do you have a you have a spiritual al- a spirituality? <laughs> yeah. Do you? Does way? it work for you? Like, what do you think? Or like, what's your practice? Do you have a uh, spiritual practice? Well, I was. Practice? It's exactly your feeling. I'm like, there's no way that this yeah. is just random and accident. When I hear or if scientists it is, go, it's it feels all unlikely. explainable, and I'm like, no. It's not at all. Yeah, you like I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is what as consciousness big of a dork. is. Then I don't think scientists say they it's all know. explained. No, they, they're they're like this is how the universe started. It started four billion years ago. With it. I go, no, you don't know. Yeah, uh, you know, I yeah, know yeah. you don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You don't know anything. Yeah, yeah. The my weather Apple, app was really. Wrong. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was it's supposed to rain at four. My so. Apple weather <laughs> says it's <laughs> not <laughs> raining <laughs> right now, and it, yeah. it is raining. And drops are coming down. So really, if it's not raining, Apple weather, why am I getting rained on? The Jews. <laughs> the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> really? There were dinosaurs 400 feet long 10 million years ago <laughs> or 80 million years ago. Then explain how <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> carbon yeah. dating. And hey. it's like we can't fucking predict tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to explain why Jordans are cool then. <laughs> right. Because you don't know. There's some things you can't explain. <laughs>
<laughs> that's awesome. It's so obvious. No, but it, there's obviously something more to me. I'm like, what's good to know is that we're right and we have a right mindset about how open minded we are about this. Isn't that good to know? I'm very afraid of <laughs> that we're open to being wrong. And uh, by uh, that, by being open to being wrong, we're so right and we're correct. We have the correct uh, mindset. Open you know? to being wrong in terms of what do you mean? I feel like that? we have a good, uh, humble stance on being like, it could be anything and nothing except the organized. I, I just remember being religious and being like, this is uh, absolutely the truth. And then now I'm yeah. like, what a crazy mindset to be like, mine's right. Yeah. Out of yeah, all yeah, the yeah. beliefs and the what what the well, point is to be like, this is for sure. The crazy yeah. thing is and all those other ones are silly. Yeah. The crazy why? Because my mommy told me. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why. Because the guy mommy that molested said me said so. Yeah, the, guy yeah. that <laughs> the guy that molested me knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I know one thing, it's that the dude that ass raped me in, <laughs> when I was in preschool knows what right and wrong is. Yeah. <laughs> He's introspective enough to call yeah, the shots. <laughs> um no i just feel that <laughs> i just feel that um even even orga i don't even think organized religion is totally wrong it's just I even logically say you totally believe in organized religion it's still hard to go word like to the letter of the bible because yeah. even then it was interpreted by humans so they have room for error yeah. even if you believe god totally doesn't Humans could get it wrong. Also, doesn't it make so, so much it doesn't sense that they would corrupt it? Because like, then you look at like who is like God and who is in charge, who looked like a god, and it's like, oh, he just looked like the guys that were in charge, like the the men. <laughs> oh, Jesus was just a the, a man of the tribe. Jesus yeah. looks just like the priest that saw yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, he looks like all the dudes of the village. <laughs> Interesting. The, the guy who makes the all village. the rules. Looks like all the husbands and fathers. Oh, God looks like the oldest guy in town a yeah. lot. Yeah. Also in a time when women had no say. Kind yeah. of suspicious. Yeah. You know? Oh, not a single prophet was a woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I he can fuck it. whoever he wants and take multiple wives. <laughs> Dude, this is that have slaves. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> he can also sleep until whenever he wants. So too, you convenient. dumb bitch. That's like how close <laughs> the Bible is to God being God gets a Tesla. What does that even yeah. mean? And also, you have to have dinner on the table by seven. <laughs> Otherwise, you're a whore. <laughs> I bet that was like a part that they cut out when they transitioned. Yeah. Be like, that'll yeah. actually lose some. Let's huh, keep I the other stuff. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I, the fundamental question is: Was all the anti-homosexual stuff was it written by a closeted gay guy or a guy that's actually grossed out by it? Just kind of a broy guy. Great question. <laughs> Ew. 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 All right, yeah. I'm putting this in the book. Or you get to heaven and God's like, no, actually, Nasty. that's the one that I, that's that uh, one I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. What? <laughs> you're God, but you're bigoted? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I don't think of it as bigoted. I just think that's gross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he created the universe and he yeah. just goes, that's too far. Though. Yeah, they that can't one's... get up here. They're so chatty. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> they They're always me. like making plans in like my favorite brunch spot too yeah, loudly yeah. god's like you're god's calling it huge you're calling it homophobia it's not that deep dude it's just what they're doing is kind of gross i'm not afraid <laughs> of them it's just nasty like why poppers <laughs> or, or he why? just goes they just don't like me i feel like i just feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah yeah them. it was like an insecurity exactly. thing they're yeah, always yeah, so yeah. like bitchy to me they're and, so like, ripped and like they make me feel bad about my body yeah, yeah. i feel small i feel like just an old white guy with a huge beard like know, yeah they make me feel outdated yeah so i just don't like them <laughs> so that's why I just did, I did AIDS. <laughs> I oh did. my god! Just because you're insecure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I let you guys like mostly solve it in in 20 years. I just did like I felt like I had to do like a quick wave <laughs> of like really bad AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> the 80s they were just getting like to be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 80s gays were the most annoying that's why i gave you guys a cure or not a cure but whatever we were doing so solution. good and we got back on aids yeah. oh man. no we may want to cut this christian the aids portion why god giving aids to gay people in can the we 80s replace the aids portion with like jamie <laughs> saying the n-word just replace it with me saying the n-word on repeat <laughs> um can no you, to get back do you to actually want to cut that yeah to get back okay, to the discussion at hand yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we do have to clarify. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually want to cut that. Because we also do <laughs> um, a bit where we ask to cut things that we don't want cut. Right, right, right. <laughs> we do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very confusing. Then we go, yeah. well, that one stays in. But <laughs> I, I, we get a stronger riff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's no way that it it's totally literal, like the word of the Bible. But there could definitely be a, a God. An organized religion could be right. Like, Jesus could have been real. Christian, what do you think? Um, um, yeah, I don't – I think uh, – could could be, but I don't think anyone's like you were saying about the guy who said like, oh yeah, everything is like like the way scientists explain. Yeah, that like I kind of don't think anyone knows anything. Yeah, I didn't really answer the question. <laughs> no, I agree. I, it, it was I very agree. similar to your Israel Palestine 
answer. Yeah. You, Nine, 20 yeah. seconds from now, to Muslims are right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm very pro Palestine because I'm Muslim. To be fair, we've thrown to Muslim him in very tricky him. situations. We've thrown to him in Kobe and the Jews, and then also God or no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In 10 seconds. Pass yes the rock no. over to Christian <laughs> when it comes the to. The shot the clock is winding down, Christian. <laughs> we need you to get this one yeah. off. Yeah. Three, two. Yeah. A, minute, a minute later, I'm like, I, I thought of something. I got my answer. I got my answer. If you answer the whole thing, what's your thesis on life now? <laughs> Not quick enough. No, next. <laughs> Evolution, I'm going to go with real. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't I'll seem real to me, honestly, at all. No? No. What's Because here's the argument that people make. Is this a bit and or it no? Makes, no, it doesn't make any sense. Really? To me at all, yeah. Okay. What, so, like... This is uh, this is what we were taught. Wait, Gradual evolution bit. through natural selection. It does not make sense logically. You know, you think you know someone. No, I love hearing you, you this. You spend so much. You go on tour with someone, and you never knew that they didn't believe in it, evolution. It really, really, really <laughs> doesn't actually make okay, sense. Okay, wait. I really want to hear your... Because logically, I think it tracks very well, but I do want to... I'm open okay, to Okay, so it. then... But here's the issue is is none of us are <laughs> know enough about evolution to actually have this conversation. That's the point of all this. We need to bring on an expert right out of our ass in evolution. In I know. Yeah. yeah. We need to bring in an expert on evolution, but if you could try to explain to me how you developed uh, the sense of hearing, just that, just that. Okay. How I did? Like or, how, yeah. or this. <laughs> or just do this. Well, yeah, me, it, just, that's it, how it, I know it, or nothing. Or Emil. Me, Emil. me or... The, the more I'm just doing, <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> semantics. Yeah, yeah. Like me is in like currently yeah. me, you or mean, like would you say like you, you do like the like like eventually or on the pod? <laughs> you do the you do the losing argument thing where you just repeat the question first. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean how did I develop hearing? Christian, yeah, well, start I working tell on you an answer. To I this. Christian. <laughs> Christian, in thirty seconds, we're gonna throw to you. My mind is working so fast right now. Wait, okay. No, no, no. Explain this to me. Just this. This is a better one. Disprove evolution. Explain. Be c no, explain how you would develop this specific finger. Why do you need this finger? How would evolution decide that this finger is vital? The point is because some you of need, it's random. Because people, because you need one in the stink, dog. Because <laughs> back then, no, you don't. People you that could do that without that. That's not even a good argument. But no, no, this even scary. as a bit, even no, as a bit, it no, was wrong. This, this finger separates the fingers that are going into the pink <laughs> from the fingers going into the stink. And that's what made people. Uh, yeah. that was actually more attractive when you could only have one in the stink. This, two in the stink is too much for people. This finger <laughs> so is. So you wouldn't be able this to. This finger is the West Bank, and then these two fingers in the pink are Stephen Israel, and the stink is Palestine. <laughs> 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 Which I love. The stink should be get more fingers in it. It should be two in the stink. Cave women weren't as fond of the stink back then. So it was harder <laughs> to convince them that you're worthy of, of passing your genetics along if well, you didn't have a have separate yes. stink. Yeah, if you didn't have one in the stink. <laughs> but also... I <laughs> but also... Hey, you didn't expect that answer, did I, you? I will say... <laughs> You, that is the dumbest shit well I've ever heard. argued, sir. That is the dumbest shit No, I've because ever. explain to me how you see it. Well, can I explain? I will explain because to you. Because here's you, the issue. But you can't cut This me is off. my point. You can't cut me but off But before if you I say it, it, this is my point. <laughs> before you say it, this is my point, yes. which is you're going to say something that just doesn't really adhere to the science that evolution actually is. This is my point, is both religious people and people that believe in evolution just believe it because they think it's the right thing to believe based on their upbringing and their worldview and the things that they've been told and heard in life. It's it just their experiences have taught them that. Let me see your it's vaccine not, card. It's, it's <laughs> Let me see not, your proof of that. It's, it's not <laughs> based on... Jamie's boosted. Hold Jamie's on. going it's so rogue right now. <laughs> totally it's yeah. not based on anything. You, you just believe it because you were educated in a system that told you that's what's true. Your explanation right now... Both won't adhere to science, and it also won't adhere to any <laughs> oh religious. God. It won't make any sense <laughs> except for in your perspective. You haven't even let me respond yet. No, you're respond. already calling why, the shots. Why on did we evolve this finger? What? This finger. Okay, but can I respond without being cut off? I won't cut you off. Okay. It I'm looks scared. like you're going to cut me off. I'm not going to cut you off. For those only listening... What you can see is Jamie's mouth is gaping wider I'm and not wider as I'm no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. say that. Let's hear it. Okay. He's buying more time too. He's <laughs> doing what I said. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean this finger? <laughs> Which finger? <laughs> By the way, I'm pointing to my, is that the ring finger on my right hand? That's the ring yeah, yeah, finger, Okay, right? okay. So Whatever. we can get married one day. That's so that would be <laughs> left hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jamie disproving that in the contest. No, no. Okay. So let's just say like you take, for example, evolution, right? Let's just start with something. Are you, are you going to agree with me? Let's start with something, like a duck, right? And a duck becomes a human, in my example. It <laughs> evolves It evolves into a human, in my example. I'm just going to use the principles of evolution, right? 
The duck needs to like get food, so the duck s- flies out of the water and goes to <laughs> land. He's really you, disrespecting your why argument. Why are you already? laughing so hard? I don't already? know. I'm not. I'm not even doing a bit. Yet. You just said let's start with a duck as an arbitrary just choice. Yeah, yeah. Which like, is not explaining. That's not an explanation of evolution because we didn't start with ducks. Yeah, we started with organisms. But I'm just saying. No, I'm saying literally explain how this happened. I, and your I'm beliefs are just based okay, on what people up, have stop told cutting me off though. Thing. You have you, to let I me don't respond. I think we can figure out. We don't know the actual reason why like this finger yeah but we can go okay here's why we have eyes or what I, I, here's yeah. what i think of i think of something like this how can really you lo- do that I, I think of like the example of like, of like dogs <laughs> dogs to like wolves that one makes or sorry wolves to dogs the idea of how we got there <laughs> tracked yes. logically to me because it's like okay they yeah. took the wolves that were the most yeah yes uh, the, the least docile yeah. or the most docile and those were linked traits yes. to of course ears that weren't as pointy tails that were whatever yes and you keep breeding those ones, yes. and so those traits keep getting whatever, yeah. and it changes the physical yeah. appearance of it. And of I'm a just thing. saying, we're yeah. talking about evolution. I'm just saying things evolving. So I'm just take a duck, but you could take an organism and it evolves into a bigger organism or whatever. But I'm just saying, take a duck, right? The duck goes to land and it needs to fucking eat, and th- it needs a sharper beak or something. So that, whatever. There's all these traits that w- started as mutations okay. are selected for, right? And over millions of years, these things change a little bit. And maybe it was selected for, like, the ring finger. It helped uh, humans grip or use tools, which humans started to do or whatever the fuck. And that was just something that was selected for. And it's not to say it's ideal. It was just selected for for a period of time. And maybe in another million years, we'll, we won't have this ring finger because it turns out we'll just have enough space to separate the pussy from the stink. And we won't need, <laughs> we won't need a actually finger to be the physical we'll barrier. We'll have a webbed area. <laughs> if <laughs> pussies and asses keep spreading out in distance <laughs> like they are, the yeah. gooches have been getting bigger scientifically for the past 500 we years. Might get it. <laughs> so we actually, this might start to be... We might get a sixth <laughs> finger because the, the ring <laughs> finger can no longer be the one. It's now the pinky that separates the pussy from the stink. You got three <laughs> in the pussy because pussies are getting wider and now your sixth <laughs> finger is hitting the stink and the sixth your finger is like pinky a, is now in the stink. Yeah. If you the might. divorce rate keeps increasing, we <laughs> will have more that needs to go in the stink. If the thing that women choose to select for is a finger in the stink, <laughs> we might get a stink finger that's a little wider and thumbs a little more uh, uh, flexible. Thumbs are actually going to move in inner years, there's so that like you can <laughs> poke in easier from any angle. <laughs> Humans get dumber over time but we have a very dexterous stink finger. <laughs> yeah, it, it comes real. calling something a stink finger is so funny. Put your stink fingers up in the sky. <laughs> your stink finger develops the ability to just vibrate on command. Yes, see, time. vibrating fingers is something. Yeah. You, so this is what it I could learned. be as stupid as that though. Like it, fingers could have actually been for like pleasure during reproduction. Yeah, why not? My point is what you said is was all over the map and didn't prove at all that. Okay, wait. So exists. what's your proof for against it? Yeah, yeah. So there's no proof. Down. This is the point. This, this is, is the worst guy to be. This is the the worst guy to be is the guy that no, goes. This is I don't have an argument. I'm just gonna say no to your. This argument. is yeah. <laughs> this is I'm the Joker of this discussion. I this just want chaos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want chaos. And this is what I want, which is every single person I've ever met. And this is what I truly have no beliefs at all. Yeah. Every person I've ever met, all of their beliefs are entirely hypocritical, and they're based on nothing except smoke and mirrors, and mostly their personal experience and their close loved ones' beliefs. But some things so are proven. Yeah, like what? that's a certain Like point. gravity, you mean? Yeah. Right, because we experience it right now. Have you experienced evolution? Yes. I have six toes. I have a mutation. That doesn't mean that evolution... But isn't there like carbon <laughs> dating and like... <laughs> but you can't fossils? do more with also, six toes. Also, did your girlfriend ever figure it out? figure out that I do or don't have six toes. Jamie, you I, six toes? I really have six toes on my right foot. One for the no, st- she, a toe for the stick. Jamie's <laughs> she tried to get mad at me about it. She was like, okay, so we called Lucas up. This was so annoying that you did this, by the way. Yeah, but that's the kind so of thing annoying. you would do to me. She I can't believe we just let this guy burn us down to the ground and now we just let him move on. <laughs> my girlfriend caused <laughs> absolute havoc. And now no, he after this podcast and people listening, we're just think get about s- your beliefs and think about are they provably true or not. I like this stance, but for some things I know, I think that's pretty fair. Other than gravity, that's real. I don't know. None of us Racism know is real. I know that. Okay. Right. Isn't evolution <laughs> okay. racism and trans people are real? Okay. 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 Aren't there and fossils? And they exist. What? Aren't yeah. there fossils yes, that prove evolution? Yeah. Re- evolution's broadly true. You don't know don't shit know about evolution. You don't know shit about religion. <laughs> All you know are racism is real. Trans people are real. And Kobe guy. said the gay F word. <laughs> Get this Kobe guy on Legion word. of Skanks tomorrow. <laughs> this guy. No, I would I would shit on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like the sh- idea of, of shitting on someone's beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. I anyway, I have six toes and it hasn't helped me, but it is a mutation. No beliefs. it did help me. Oh, you know what the thing is that's selected for most right now? Mm-hmm. Like the thing that is most correlated with a man's ability to reproduce and have children? Being six foot. Uh, oh, sorry. Being funny, believe it or not. 
Wow. Right yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah, that's not true. So, um, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> just no, becomes a huge I'm just fascinating. Shitting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <shitting. laughs> yeah. Uh, becoming... what, where, what were we about to talk about? We had some point that we missed. Stink finger? No, that stink was toe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I oh, think we oh, covered oh. six. Yeah, a stink toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Can, stink toe. I convinced is why? your girlfriend that I might not have That's. I was going to describe this story. Can I Do we have time? What are we at? What are we at time wise? Okay, good. We have time for this, and okay, then we'll wrap well, it yeah, up. Okay. Do a Kobe callback and get out of here. Okay, but <laughs> I want to make your last big so punch of the night. Yeah, my yeah. girlfriend, this is Do super important. Call my girlfriend back, yeah. is on her period when okay. this happens. But that doesn't matter. And to right the story now, unrelated. Yeah. But that also, <laughs> but that's unrelated. That also but that didn't gives no affect context. me at all. When I get a phone call, I don't go. Is the woman calling me on her period? And that's because I'm a feminist. By the way, yeah. happy International Women's Day. It's not International Women's it Day. Is it actually. is actually. So tread very lightly. Yeah, on this and story. you should know because that's a verifiable fact. You ask to international women everywhere. Jamie's gonna become the guy that's like, well, in space, is it International Women's <laughs> Day? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. If gravity <laughs> doesn't exist, no, no okay. International Women's Day exists. Because trans people exist. So anyway, <laughs> I, that's about as logical as what you said. So because you, your argument for evolution was ducks could evolve into humans, which isn't really an argument. That wasn't really the so argument. So anyway, okay. <laughs> I'm, you used I'm an analogical argument. Rib. You didn't literally describe why we have this ring finger. Anyway, so <laughs> my point. No wonder why you guys, Lucas, you guys, this podcast is splitting. Lucas <laughs> called because Lucas is the fourth mic and he's an idiot. <laughs> No, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so Lucas calls me up I one day. Jamie She's up. on I'm her like, period. I might have six toes. Totally right. random. <laughs> <laughs> totally random. So I was like, well, yeah, like, because we live in he a He believes in evolution is real. He's a fucking idiot. We, right. He believes in anything at all, which is so dumb. So <laughs> we, uh, we're we in Hasidic Williamsburg on the Sabbath. We're talking about their beliefs. By the way, they have a they have a rope that goes around all of Williamsburg oh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It's like a small little. It's like a wire. What's that it called? Connect, I forget. There's a name a for it. It goes around all I think of I've Brooklyn. Heard this, that it yeah. connects. Something yeah, and it allows the Hasids to go out on the Sabbath and to do some work it's like on touching the Sabbath. Their home yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. Like it's because it goes touching. around their home. It's like a. It's like a no. It's like it's like a safety zone for Jews against God like on the Sabbath. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a. Yeah. It's like their home base. It's like when they're touching it's it. The, yeah. They safe, can do whatever they want. Safe. Safe. <laughs> I'm safe, <laughs> Yahweh. <laughs> this is what happens when, for millions of years, your whole history of people have been oppressed and targeted. <laughs> you have to do things just like, please, yeah, does yeah. this do anything? Does the please. rope is the rope helping? Yeah. In, in two years, we'll, I don't think the rope. We'll try helping. anything. <laughs> yeah. The rope was worth a shot. Okay. Anyway, so, so go on. Go on. We were talking about their beliefs, and and uh, she, I was like, yeah, they marry their cousins sometimes. Like they do incest because mm -hmm. yeah. it's in the Bible. It doesn't say that that's incorrect. You're, right. you're allowed to do incest in the Bible. And for Jews, some certain level for Jews to like keep relative. the purity of the bloodline incest especially in like Eastern European Jews was like very much encouraged important like right. first cousins aunt aunt nephew relationships yeah. back then I think kind Game of get the logic if, th if they didn't know if, you know people way back then they didn't know wasn't way back then more like the 1910s right <laughs> yeah they knew and <laughs> <laughs> they, knew. they very they much knew. knew yeah my dad almost married his cousin. Not almost. My grandma wanted to set him up with his cousin. Really? Yeah. Well, the, the, why I'll, did your dad not do it? Because I think he was like, enough? "It's my fucking cousin." Oh, okay. He was. I bet that was part. I bet was if your cousin is really hot, you might overlook the cousin thing and go, "Ah, it's fucking what? It's the '60s. We yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. better." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say it. Yeah. it was, I don't know any better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know better that she's my cousin. Yeah. She's hot. Well, what? I was in Lebanon. Oh, yeah, you just said it. Like science and the internet. And you just said I didn't know any better. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Before you married. When it came to their cousins, they knew better and even if they didn't know better they saw how many of the kids came out not good <laughs> <laughs> i shouldn't say not good came out um neurodivergent <laughs> it's only like one percent right words. <laughs> lucas okay, sorry, Zelnick on the podcast said neurodivergent is the same as not good <laughs> on international women's day you <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> okay anyway you're talking okay. to ellie she's on her period so you're talking about talking incest about Jews, you incest, come to my Jewish community toes. i go yeah, Lucas actually is kind of a product of incest. I believe his grandparents are second cousins or something like that, and he has six toes. Mm -hmm. And she goes, <gasps> she goes, stop. No, he doesn't. It's a bit. And I go, no, like he does. Like I, I didn't think it was a big point. I was just telling her that. I she thought I was doing a bit, and she was on her period. So when she thought I was doing a bit, she was like, stop. Like she was getting angry at me, which isn't related to her period. So. <laughs> 
at all. Didn't want to. Not chemically. Not. No. There's no stereotypes around that. And even if there were, those stereotypes would be provably untrue. Be founded in truth at all. Jamie doesn't believe anything. Especially evolution. Especially not for my girlfriend. Jamie doesn't believe anything. Not the least of which is that (laughs) women are annoying on their periods. He doesn't believe that at all. I don't believe that. I do believe that maybe my girlfriend once a month, unrelated to her period, gets angry. All the time at about me. everything. Jamie doesn't. Even, he's not. He's <laughs> doing the no evolution thing, but he's also doing the no stereotypes thing, which yeah. is actually a beautiful in yeah. the middle. This it's guy nice. has no moral backbone or anything. Yes. No. That. No. No. I know. I know three things. Yeah. One. His girlfriend. Women be shopping. Period. One. <laughs> gravity. <laughs> Stop. Mm. One. Gravity exists. Okay. Two. Trans people exist. And three. Racism exists. And that's all I can say for sure. Those are three. And Palestinians in the red. Sorry, yeah. And Palestine is very correct. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, a go black ahead. and white issue. We have Palestine's to end this podcast. The right side soon, of it. So Christian's go. nodding as I say that. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. So anyway, um, we're going to have to cut all this. I'm kidding. But, uh, <laughs> no, we don't have to cut all this. You have to cut the one thing I said to cut. Everything else can stay. So uh, she's getting really mad at me, and she's on her period, and she's almost crying. Yeah, she's getting very, very emotional about she was this. Almost crying you about my six toes. Almost crying. This is why I got angry yeah. at you because she was this emotional about it. So I go, "It's okay. We'll just call Lucas up. We'll Facetime him. He'll show us his six toe. It'll be fine." We call him up, and you do a bit, which which you didn't realize how annoying it was to me, no, and how negatively it impacted my life. Yeah, which is, I call you up and I go, "Show us your six toe," and you go, "Oh, the obvious bit here is to go. Why is Jamie doing a bit?" Yeah, Jamie. He, calls he's me like, "Jamie's doing a bit. I have five toes on both both feet. That was no, no, quick ja- on your toes. Ja- Jamie that was quick on all six of your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's he's got an extra Jamie one. Jamie calls fast. me and goes, That's why you can Jamie so calls fast. me and I go." Ugh, are you doing some like annoying things? Yeah. Well, like I'm yeah, like yeah. I'm like I'm busy. He's doing a bit of me. I'm, I'm sure. in Chicago for Ashley's special taping. I'm busy. Like I just I really don't have time to like do some bit. Take that you my made sock up. off. Yeah. 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 So and then Jamie's like, show us your feet, and I'm like, I'm not gonna show you my feet. Like I don't think I have to prove that I have five toes on each foot. I feel like that's a pretty standard issue for all humans. I don't want to deal with this right now. Goodbye, and I hang up. Yeah. <laughs> I have eleven toes total. I have six on my right foot, five on my left. And I'm wiggling my sixth toe as I lie to his girlfriend's face about how I only have five. But, of course, the easy lie is you only have five because that is generally the rule. Two truths and a lie. I'm an exception. So my girlfriend, you hang up and she gets really mad. She goes, I swear to God, if you're lying to me, like, I would be fucking furious. Oh, my God. And in my head, I go, yeah, I don't think you really would be. Yeah, it's not uh, that. It's not that deep. It's bro. not. It's, it's just not that deep. <laughs> but also, I'm not lying, and it's so annoying that Lucas just did this to me. Yeah, um, which is the, the exact stakes. kind of thing you would do to me. I would. I in, when I hung up, I was so annoyed because I had no leg to stand on. I'm like, that's what I would have done. Yeah, 100. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I would have. I would have been <laughs> like, you bit. should get mad at him if he if you would <laughs> if you were thinking about it. You should be furious. <laughs> but anyway, she gets like really, really pissed, and she's like promise me like do a pinky promise swear on your mom's life that <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> that god he has six toes and, and i go as yeah, Jamie does that. obviously and we do it and she's looking at my face to see if i'm laughing i'm not laughing because it's not funny at all to me yeah at this point you're like i don't even like she's this just bit. yeah it. it's not a bit he has Lucas. six toes yeah, by yeah, the yeah. way as jamie does this my sixth toe falls off <laughs> because evolution's real right <laughs> <laughs> i evolve into I a get higher fucked creature. in every way possible <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and then, so how did it and then Kobe Bryant picks it up and dunks it into a basket. <laughs> that was the episode. Thank you so much for joining. You want it called there? You don't want to explain that I do. Have, I guess we did. Let's take it off. Yeah, Show the right. camera. That, that was the episode. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Emil, for joining. Wait, before we did you stop recording? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, anything you want to plug? Um, yeah, I'm on the road hit. a little bit, but don't come see me at this. Evolution. Come, come see fake. me Sorry, the next run I'm on. Evolution so fake. Yeah. Sorry, that's just I do want to plug Evolution. <laughs> uh, check it out if you haven't heard of it. And Gravity, yeah. Uh, you're on the road. You're 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 a great stand-up comedian. We Thanks, again buddy. did an entire podcast where we didn't introduce who our guest was. Uh, that's okay. You're a great was, stand-up and you're and like you're on the road. Thanks, so co-see yeah. Emil in come your city. See, come see me, yeah. All right. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys.